Hey guys, as you can see here, I got a package in the mail, and I know who this is from. This is from my good friend Jeff over at 74 Poker, and he said he had a bunch of Japanese films that he wanted to send me, and or as a trade, and I'm going to be sending him something real soon, but I'm going to pop this sucker open here, and actually I already did pop it open, but I haven't looked, and he told me to read the note first, and... Let's see what we got. And first thing you can see here is he wrote down, Oh no, Mr. Bill. Yeah, just, i never seen this show. I don't even know what it is. But I hear it referenced all the time, Mr. Bill. I don't know if that's the name of the show. But kudos to him for uh, personalizing the package. <laughs> Holy smokes. I, it's, it felt heavy. And I was uh, I, I had told him, I said, Hey, this is what did you ship me? Some batteries or something? This sucker is heavy. So let's see what he wrote here. He said, hey, Mr. Bill, hide your kids, hide your wife. The package has finally got here. Gonna make a chocolate rain up in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the package did arrive okay. The wife was the one who actually brought it in, and I already got yelled at for it. She thought I I bought a, another huge stack of DVDs or something like I'm always doing. Uh, now, don't go all Ermagerd when you see what I put in here for you. And don't be all honey badger either. I know you are all like you mad, bro. All our, your base are belong to us. So yell Leroy Jenkins. And let's do this because it's Friday. Friday, got to get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend Friday. Friday, getting down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Are you not entertained? Uh... Rawhead Fred, a.k.a. Jeff, a.k.a. Neil Lyman. Okay, whatever that means. <laughs> I recognize the Friday song, at least. Uh, Leroy Jenkins, I don't know. Uh, All Your Bases Belong to Us was uh, with the unofficial title, The Phantom Menace or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, Jeff, thanks for that. That was uh, pretty funny. I'm going to have to write you something uh, in return. So let's get on to the movies, what everyone's waiting to see. So, uh, first thing I can see here, which is sticking out like a sore thumb. I hope I can show this on this camera here. I don't know. Sukabon Boy from the director of Machine Girl. And this is one I really wanted to see, so I'm glad Jeff had this in his collection. Uh, this one, yeah, it says from the director of Machine Girl, but I know Aid, uh, a.k.a. Eating Lucifer Dick, has showed this. Uh, not this, but he showed other films by this director. Is it Hey Say? Hi say Asu Asu, I don't I don't know. Hi Sayamo, Amaguchi, something like that. But uh yeah, at least I can show the back of this one. Oh there it is, it's Noboro Iguchi. Hi say Asu Sado is the other one he's always showing on his channel. But yeah, I this one I, this one I think is from the same director of Hypertrophy Genital Girl, which I just ordered from Japan after seeing AIDS video, so I wanted this one so bad, and I'm glad you included it in here. So I can't wait to see this. This is going to be one of the first ones I watch. Ah, then, ooh, the Rattler. Uh, the next one here is Crazy Lips. I have not heard of this one. Or is this the one? I think it's about a, the the Indian chief who has Tourette syndrome. Chief Crazy Lips. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't know. But yeah, this one looks pretty brutal. Looks pretty nice. Mad Doctor. I like it. So yeah, this one is another one. Crazy Lips. Let me know if anyone has seen it. Alright, now we got a tin here. Oh boy. This is nice. I haven't, I haven't even seen this edition before. Harold and Kumar. I know I've seen, I've seen the movies. Though. These are pretty funny movies. Uh, I've seen White Castle. I don't think I've seen the Guantanamo Bay one. And I, I, my favorite is the very Harold and Kumi Kumar Christmas. <laughs> that was a good one. That was that one was funny. But yeah, this this guy isn't he the guy in Star Trek now? I think he is. But yeah, this is this looks like oh this is awesome. But I don't know where you found this. Oh, my camera can't zoom in. Oh, there it is. So it looks like you get some drink coasters and some scented air fresheners in this highly flammable three movie set. Really nice. Uh, this must be the thing you said you were waiting for. That you want, you couldn't wait to stick in the package or something. 
But yeah, it kind of looks like a Zippo lighter or something up at the top. I don't know. Kind of nice. I like it. What does that say? I'm in NPH We Trust. <laughs> that is awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. All right. This is a Blu-ray. The Fallen Ones starring Casper Van Dien, who I do like. Uh, Casper Van Dien, he was in uh, Starship Troopers and uh, a few other things. He was in, was it Sleepy Hollow? I think he was in Sleepy Hollow too. But yeah, this I have not seen this one. But I think I've heard good things about it on, uh, God, no, Body Bags. I almost said the Fright Tube. But I'm, body Bags. I, I, I know I, someone reviewed it recently and said it was good. And they couldn't believe Casper Van Dien was in it. So, yeah. So this one is one I cannot wait to watch. Thank you, Jeff. Taxi Driver. Now, th this one is one Jeff had. He got at Best Buy. And he had it on his Facebook channel. Which is, I believe, it's Rawhead Fred. If anyone is a member of Facebook and want to uh, friend Jeff... He holds these contests every once in a while, and uh, I had guessed correctly on the 30, 30 days of he had thirty days of clues, but you couldn't answer it until the thirtieth day. So uh, I had guessed it earlier in the month, and then he had told me he said, "No, don't guess now. You guess at the end. I'm not going to tell you if you're right or wrong." Blah blah blah. And I guessed when he told me it was time to guess, and I won. So. Uh, this is, I believe, yeah, it's a Blu-ray. The Blu-ray Digipack, which is really nice. And uh, obviously a great film. Robert De Niro, everyone's seen this one. But yeah, this is a great edition. And it's actually, it's 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 a good deal too for $14.99. We've got one more here in the pack and some goodies. Killing Machine, Rebuilt Robotically for Revenge. And this one looks like a nice, nice, uh, bizarre Japanese one here. A potent slice from the Korean independent cinema underground. Travis Crawford from the Philadelphia Festival. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, but it looks like it's won a lot of awards. Uh, so it's a Korean film, not Japanese, I apologize. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Image Entertainment. So many of these great Japanese films I just have not even heard about, like this one. Now, he's got some goodies in here. I don't know what these are. I see something that says Flintstones. Ah, Hong Kong Fui, the Hot Wheels. And this is one. Hong Kong Fui is actually one I'm looking to get on on DVD because... What, I have not talked about this too much on YouTube because I don't want to get flagged and I don't want to get you know, thrown under the bus. But I'm into like these these uh obscure type any and basically what I'm trying to say is anything you can consider offensive that's banned or anything, I'm into all those type of films. Not because I'm a racist or a I don't know whatever you want to say. Uh but if if it's something that's that's politically incorrect that's being ripped off the mark, and for that reason, you know, I try and build a little bit of a collection, just be, just for nostalgic sake, and <clears throat> just to, you know, because this 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 stuff is getting cleaned out. You know, you can everything's getting getting uh, what do you call it? getting cut and getting re-edited and revoiced, and so yeah, Hong Kong Fui. I think this is one that's that's could be considered a little bit of offensive with this dog here that is probably I'm, I'm guessing it's been a long time since I've seen it but it has a Chinese accent and is going around karate chopping everybody I can see why some people might find that offensive so yeah this is uh yeah this is pretty cool so yeah I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna hang this one up somewhere and I'm definitely gonna look for the DVDs too see if they were ever released Jeff probably knows. He he knows all those Saturday morning cartoon stuff. The Flintstones. And yeah, this was another show I used to watch growing up all the time. My camera's not really picking up the car, but it's nice. And uh, if anyone is into um, the Flintstones, I highly check suggest checking out on YouTube. 
something called, I think it was Winston Cigarettes. The Flintstones actually did a cigarette commercial back in the 60s that, you know, talk about politically incorrect, you know, marketing cigarettes for kids. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, check that, check that one out. You will not believe, you know, what you're seeing or Barney and Fred talking about how, how sweet the drag is on a Winston cigarette. <laughs> And he's included here some candy corn. You know, everyone's favorite Halloween snack, or as I call it, diabetes in a bag. Yeah, this is a sure one-way ticket of diabetes. And uh, what's that guy's name from Cocoon who does the diabetes commercials? I don't know. Wilford Brimley, that's it. I, don't, I can't do Wilford Brimley impersonation, otherwise I would try. I got the diabetes! And red vines. Me and Jeff have been talking. I'm not a fan of red vines, but I'm not. I'm sure someone else in the house is. I'm a Twizzlers guy, and I <laughs> Jeff found that highly offensive. So anyway, guys down below, let me know. Are you a Twizzlers person or a red vines person? To me, this is like eating st uh, a stale piece of rope. Yeah, sugared flavored rope. That's what red vines are. <laughs> But uh, maybe maybe other people like it. So let me know below. Do you like red vines or do you like Twizzlers? I want to take a tally down below and show Jeff he's missing out on Twizzlers. And let me know what you thought of these, these movies. And uh, so we got Killing Machine. We got Taxi Driver. We got The Fallen Ones. We got the Harold and Kumar Tin Box Collection. We got Ch Chief Crazy Lips. Uh, I'm going to patent that movie by the way with don't don't any of you fuckers steal it and Sukaban boy my favorite my favorite in the whole uh, package along with the Harold and Kumar of course so that is everything people I hope you guys are having an awesome week happy October take care